Hello, my name is Pepe Vargas. Um, I've been here many times thanks to CAN TV uh, announcing, inviting you to come to see the Chicago Latino Film Festival. Uh, we are back to the theaters. That is the news. We want to see you at the theaters. For uh, 35 years we did it and then, well, we, it was interrupted, but we are going back. And also we had the uh, the driving events and virtually in five states of the Midwest. That is what we have and we again wanted to see you back at the theaters. That is the idea of having this film showing then in the dark, not in the dark of your living room, but in the dark of a theater. And I'm Sophie Gordon. I'm the programming manager of the Chicago Latino Film Festival. We're so excited to be coming back to the theaters. Like Pepe said, we will be at the Landmark Century Theaters. Um, we're very excited to be uh, in the same space with our audience this year, sharing these films at the theaters. We will also be returning to Chai Town Movies Drive-In for four events. And we will also be showing our films virtually. Like Pepe said, we'll be in five Midwestern states as well as Illinois. If you would like to stay at home and watch films virtually from the comfort of your home. But it's wonderful. We're glad to be offering options for our audience this year as we're returning to uh, in-person events. As always, the invitation is to really travel throughout the Latino universe without leaving Chicago. Be uh, you are in the Midwest, well, without leaving the Midwest, and coming to Etires, go to the uh, Chai Town for the drive-ins, or watch the films at, at home, or, or the landmark theaters. The idea is the festival is here, and it is all yours. El Perú es un país mega diverso. Por ser de montañas y por ser tropical. Esa geografía natural se sostiene por una geografía cultural que la del hombre. Ahorita tengo en la papa 420 variedades. The title of this Peruvian documentary is The Healing Land. And the title is in the original language, uh, Quechua, Hatun Pacha. Um, it's very significant, also it's made by a woman. A great number of films of the, of the festival have been made by, by women, which is not new, it's also, we have over the years done that part as well. And this is very revealing. I think the director had done a phenomenal job going to the highlands of Peru. Give us the opportunity, the viewer, to see how people um, produce this food that is super uh, nutritious, and the love that they put in there, and the amount of work, and how difficult it is for that. I mean, we learn a lot. And the other thing that we see is the, uh, the opposite, how Peruvians, the great number of Peruvians, do not have access to this food. A lot of ingredients besides the, the, the ones from the food that makes the thing so difficult and also uh, how revealing is watching this document, how much we learn by doing this. And so my job is to encourage you to come and see and learn. Definitely, I learn a lot, and that is what uh, we wanted to make sure that you do too. Learn and, 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 and feel the uh, uh, sympathy for these people, the climate is changing and how we are damaging Mother Nature and all of that. So how can we really make sure that we take care of what we have and, and value? Uh, what Mother Nature give us to uh, feed ourselves. So I encourage you not to miss this beautiful and very informative documentary. Para mí, el futuro, el futuro no está adelante, el futuro está atrás. All right, our first short film that we'll be talking about, our first trailer, is called Yagan Lessons. And this film is a short that comes from Argentina. It is a documentary, and it comes from the very southernmost part of the continent, from Tierra del Fuego. And this is about an indigenous community, the Yagan community, 
who are the descendants of an indigenous people who ha were the very first uh, inhabitants of the southernmost islands of the American continent. And this film primarily is about the language and connecting with the language. And thus, this film follows two brothers who go on an ancestral journey of sorts. These brothers walk with their horses in the wild and natural landscape that they come from in order to connect with the land. And so on this journey, they go on together. They speak the language with each other. They talk to each other. They teach each other. They remember the teachings of their grandfather and the songs of their grandfather and their ancestors in order to connect more deeply with the land that they are from, with their ancestors, and with the language that they are trying very hard to keep alive. I want Anikin Kamano. I want Samuta Mali in Alumahala. Y me ha sentido pésame, doña Isabel. Cualquier cosita que necesite, imagino que triste ahora que se queda solita. Pero yo estoy bien. La familia quiere saber cuándo empieza la misa. Pero ¿por qué la gente quiere tanta atención hoy? Es que la gente se está yendo para el velorio del esposo de Isabel. Se ve guapísimo, uniforme. No sé si tú sabes que nosotras estamos encargadas de todos los funerales, de casi todo. Pero necesitamos a alguien creativa como tú. ¿Pero yo qué puedo hacer? Perfume de Gardenia, o Gardenia es perfume. French perfume. Pero no es French, es Puerto Rican perfume. Films made by women are plenty in the festival and we receive so many. This is made by a black Puerto Rican, a comedian, an artist. This is her first film and she tastes the, the Caribbean thing when somebody dies so it is, it's kind of a party again. And they celebrate life and, and, and the, the departure of the death and that forces people to do special things to say goodbye to their loved ones. And this is a, it's a comedy, but it's, it's, it's dealing with a subject matter that is, is profound, and it's, it's death, and something that helps people heal, and, and not taking too seriously something that is very painful. But I'm not letting you know more than that, because I'm going you to really go out and see that. Um, it's very revealing. And, uh, again, Puerto Rico and most of the Caribbean uh, people do this kind of thing, so you will see. And, 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 and again, I think you will laugh about this. And uh, it's made by a woman, and so it's your opportunity to really see the splendor of talent on, on a film. <laughs> Quiero que me entierren un hoyo ahí en el patio. ¿Me oye? Queremos ser feliz. ¿Cómo no vamos a querer tener una muerte feliz? All right, the next short film that we're going to talk about is a documentary called Prairie Flowers. No me ni ta no ta yo. Ni ta huela ya. No me ni la hu na suma. This is a documentary that comes to us from Mexico, from the state of Guerrero, and it is about an indigenous community in the state of Guerrero, uh, the Nyomda community, and specifically about a collective of women in this uh, in this small town in Guerrero, who are a community of weaving women. These women get together and they uh, make their own thread from cotton as well as weave traditional textiles. And in, uh, in the past, one of these women, one of their sisters, was the victim of a femicide. And so when this happens, these women are forced to come together to mourn her passing, 
to help each other heal, as well as to fight for justice in the death of their friend and their community member, their sister. This documentary is very lyrical and poetic. It really focuses on the process of weaving, the rhythms and the textures of the textiles that they are making and the process of making it, and connects the process of weaving with the process of healing and grief as well, and the, com the community and the bonds that are created between this community of women. Qué gusto de verte. Yo pensé que te habías olvidado de nosotros. No, está cabrón para olvidarte. Por su pendeja de matarse a tu madre, fuera de aquí. Perdóneme, pero ya está usted vieja para hacerse pendeja. Tú no más tienes problemas. Tena Sandoyo, tío Tata, Esteban Juárez, niña así de Anani Chabela García. Nudo Mixteco, also from Mexico. And this wasn't done on purpose, it just happens. After Sophie talks about a short film, also with native people, and Nudo Mixteco comes to be also a film about indigenous people. There's, there's violence and the sexual exploration, and then it's betrayed, and then it's immigration, leaving the town and getting back, and then we see a lot of the cops on how people address their problems, and how the community solve their problems. So we learn a lot, and, and that, is, that is the idea. Also, it's made by a woman, and, and that is all revealing, and, and again, I wanted to stress that, that is a lot of films made by women. So we found a short film and then it's a feature film that in general follows in the, the, the custom. And this is primarily uh, in Mixteco, which is a language that we are not familiar with, but also the preservation of the language and the, the law and, and, and the customs that they do it and how they solve their own problems and the controversy with the, 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 the Mixteco law and then the law of the Mexican state. There's a lot of good moments that we laugh, not because we think that to be outrageously strange for us, but because it's the way they are. And so we, we laugh about no, not their ways, but how they address things. And, and, and in that regard, to me, it's, it's a comedy as well, a comedy with profound uh, content of the human and also dealing with violence is not, not easy and sexual identity. So it's another film that, I mean, I, I encourage you to see as many films as, as, as possible. Now it's a question that people are saying, what do you recommend? My recommendation is to see as many as you can, including Nudo, Nudo Mixteco. The next short film that we're going to talk about is called The Intronaut, and this is an animated film. We actually really have quite a few animated films in our program this year that we really encourage you to watch. We're very excited to be sharing such a large, a large selection of animated films, both shorts and features. Uh, this film comes from Colombia, and it is a film that tells the story of a man who lives and works every day in a reality that is just absolutely inundated with technology and consumerism, and it's very difficult to escape from. His only escape is through his ability to draw. 
And the world of his drawings is a world of his dreams. It's a world full of magic, fantastic creatures, and um, fresh air that the society that he lives in does not, does not have. It's full of magic and where the laws of reality do not apply. And so by entering this world, by escaping his own reality, he becomes a character that we know as the Intronaut. And this film is absolutely beautiful. It's actually composed of two different animation styles. One of them is stop motion animation and the other is a really intricately drawn animation, the world of his dreams. So I highly encourage checking out this film as well as all of our other animated films we have this year. Songs that flood the river, with our purpose also from Colombia. <laughs> and this film, also the Colombia, has a lot to do with, with the war, the violence, and, and how this little girl uh, starts singing songs to alleviate the, the pain in which the, uh, the children are growing up, especially in the countryside of Colombia because of the war that has been there for 60 years, but 60 years is an eternity for a war that started has no end. And so the films deal with the, how people address the, this pain and through the songs and, and singing and so kind of healing the spirit and, and giving them some force, a spiritual force to keep living. And in that regard, the films uh, give us hope. So that is what, what the director shows. And it's a beautiful film because it happens, and, and that is probably the most important thing in Colombia, the beauty of, of, of the landscape, because the mountains and the valleys, and, and it's really bad that violence has taken place and still keep place and there, and that's what cinema does, reflecting that reality. So you wanted to know Colombia, I, watch the short film and also watch this, this, this feature film because I think you will learn and eventually feel uh, some type of uh, closeness too and, and eventually why not praying for, for peace in Colombia. All right, let's talk about a film that's called uh, Neon Phantom. This is a very unique film within our program. I'm very excited about it. Uh, this is a film that uses rather uh, unorthodox or experimental techniques to talk about a very relevant issue in Brazil today, 
which is the rights and the visibility of uh, delivery workers, specifically delivery workers who deliver food to people's homes through uh, apps, through applications. This is a very interesting problem in Brazil right now because of the huge importance that these delivery workers have in the economies of larger Brazilian cities, especially during the pandemic. Their importance has just increased manyfold because people are staying in their homes and need things to be delivered to their houses. And so this film follows a man named Joao as he goes about his day and his work. And as he encounters other friends of his, other delivery workers, they all talk together, they sing together and dance together trying to figure out and find their place within Brazilian society and find their voice. And this film is actually, it's very unique in that it is a full musical. It's a short film, but it's only about 20 minutes long. And it has multiple original musical numbers, as well as very beautiful, intricate choreography. And it uses these techniques as a way of addressing a very relevant conflict in Brazil today, a very, very relevant problem. So we're very excited about this film and having a musical as a part of our program. Comunicado de la Comisión de Lucha contra las Nuevas Drogas. En la jornada de hoy, autoridades del gobierno nacional y representantes del gobierno de los Estados Unidos celebraron con un magnífico acto los 10 años de la prohibición de la mateína en nuestro país. No podemos estar tomando mate como si fuéramos un delincuente escondido. ¿Y no bien? Una porquería. Ya tiene tres secados, seguro. La cosa más linda de la vida, uno la hace para tomar unos mates después. El centro está lleno de milico. En un mes ya no conseguimos más llevar para ningún lado, Guri, sin serio. Escuchá, nene, te complico la cosa. Sí, maestro. Damos la ceba y la guita hoy. En 10 minutos estamos ahí. <risa> ¡Llamá ahora, Hugo! Estoy buscando a dos personas. Recibimos una llamada de acá. Mateína, from your white. And so, what the director de is thinking ahead of time, son 20 years from now, what would happen if, if we don't have mate in, in Uruguay? So uh, it becomes a road movie. Uh, we had to go p to Paraguay and, and, and get the mate from Paraguay. And then that is what we see in the movie, what people will do to get what they must have in order to keep moving. And, uh, and that, is, that is something that uh, creates the question, what if we don't do that? What if we don't have this? And, and, and in this case, they use mate, but metaphorically speaking, there is in any other country they can use another thing that what if we don't have? And then the answer comes that, and, and that is why you had to see the movie. <laughs> I can't tell you what will happen, but I, I really, I, again, encourage you to, to see it. Mateina is, uh, is another recommendation, not without leaving the others aside. Every film that we put in the festival is is highly recommended by the director. <laughs> so, watch it. The dream we have is this, to return with the seeds and multiply it. The prueba de sonido. Bueno, es que por llegar no vamos a llegar a ningún sitio. El líder de la oposición ha criticado al gobierno y al ministro de Interior por su gestión en el operativo de búsqueda tras la fuga de Eric Suárez, un preso catalogado como altamente peligroso. Buenas tardes. Hola, ¿qué tal? Vamos a un festi. A un festival de música en Venidor. Pues no me pida de paso, pero os puedo acercar. Si me hacéis un, un descuento o algo. So the last short that we're going to talk about is called Once You Pop, and it is from Spain. This is one of our comedies that we have this year. It's a very funny and very dark comedy. And it is about two women who are traveling from Brazil to the, to the beach in Spain. To, they are part of a band and they're going to perform at a music festival. But along the way, they get kicked out of their car and stranded on the side of the road in the absolute middle of nowhere with no cell phone service and no car to take them to the, fest, to the music festival. 
And so these women stranded are trying to figure out a way to get to the beach. Uh, along comes a man who offers to give them a ride, but these women can't necessarily come to, uh, to trust this person. And so a lot of the film is the very funny and very strange interaction that these three people have together. The two women who desperately need to get to their gig at the beach and the man who has offered to take them there. And so this is a very fun and colorful and very dark comedy. It has a lot of music as well. This has some original music, some very fun kind of rock pop music. Uh, and it's a very wonderful, wonderful comedy that we highly encourage that you watch. As you can see, we have a very, very comprehensive menu. Comedies, drama, documentaries, animation, and pretty much from every country. So, Make, make the time to really watch this film from April 21st to May 1st. And you can go to the Landmark Theaters because that is, again, we're going back in person and happy and excited about that, 2828 North Clark, and then. Uh, we're so excited also to be going back to Chi-Town Movies and having some of our films and our events be at the drive-in this year. That was a great success in our last film festival and we're so happy to be going back, as well as being able to offer films virtually for anyone who wants to watch at home from the comfort and the safety of their homes, as well as being able to offer the majority of our films in five states in the Midwest, as well as in Illinois. And so the virtual option is very important to us as we are slowly coming back to having in our festival in person, being able to offer both to our audience uh, in whatever way they feel most comfortable. And not only do we have the different ways of watching the films, but we have such a huge variety and number of films in our program this year. We have 51 feature films and 36 short films to choose from. And so you can go onto our website, chicagolatinofilmfestival.org, and scroll through the huge and a wonderful selection of films that we have. We can read synopses, you can look at photos, uh, check out some trailers and see what appeals to you. And we really encourage you to make some time and come out at the end of April and see as many films as you can. See you at the movies then. See you at the movies. <laughs>